Hey guys, John here. Today this video is going to be about foreign languages, and I know what you're thinking. How does that have anything to do with Airsoft? Well, I'll explain that later in the video. Alright, just as a as filler for the beginning, or to set the stage, uh, I've been doing a crap ton of Chinese homework. Actually, more than my um, American schoolwork, because it's just that much harder and longer. Just annoying in general. Anyway, um, I I know no one likes to hear this, or no kids like to hear this, but all the work you put in into a foreign language when you're a kid or teenager will pay off when you grow up. Whoa! Not an instant gratification. I know it's crazy, but it would be extremely helpful for me because um, I'm looking to go into the business field. And China's economy is rising. Yeah, if you don't know that, then go watch the news. And Chinese would be extremely helpful. Also, I'm Chinese, so, you know, why not? And this relates to Airsoft because unless you're retailing and you're talking to Chinese manufacturers, when you play, knowing another language just adds a whole nother dimension to the game. I mean, it's crazy. You, you'll you be able to talk in this completely foreign tongue and no one will be able to understand you. So if there's um, anti-intelligence like on radios, then uh, no one's gonna understand you. Or if you're just yelling it across the field, no one's gonna understand you either way. And um, it's just super useful. An example of that in uh, History is during World War II, the United States uh, Marine Corps used Navajo Indians to create this special modified code for radio transmission so the Japanese didn't know what um, troop deployments and all that. And these Navajo Indians um, were, well, they went into service and then they uh, worked together to make a slightly modified alphabet kind of for language for US Marine Corps radio transmissions and it worked like like all the time it didn't fail once well at least it didn't fail so there are significant consequences and part of that is because Navajo is just an incredibly impossible language to learn unless you were born Navajo but also because um, it's just another language the Japanese had never heard of before so, if you're using a language like Chinese in the field, which is completely non-Western, or just unlike English, which German, Spanish, and French are more related to, then your enemies will have no clue what you're doing. So, this is also directed to my friends at Garden Valley Airsoft, as some of you speak Chinese, and... Just people in general, because learning a foreign language has so many uses. But mainly for airsoft, obviously. Hope you liked this short video. Uh, rate, subscribe, and stay tuned.